Hi everybody, I'm Chris, and today we're going to show you how to at least test if your uh, Motorola X4115 series pressure sensor is actually working because to put this sensor inside of a, some sort of uh, pressure chamber is kind of a headache and uh, again, it, you know, trying to get the cables into the pressure chamber, have it sealed with a vacuum or an elevated pressure is just a nightmare, uh, especially when all you're trying to do is to see if the darn thing works. Um, I'm using this uh, in an application to calibrate a dynamometer. You want to know the ambient uh, temperature, humidity, and pressure uh, in order to get the right power measurement. So anyhow, um, what I've done is I've hooked it up to an Arduino. Uh, you can see the, I have a uh, humidity and temperature sensor uh, board here from sparkfun.com and this pressure sensor, you can see it, it is, well it's black so it's hard to see on top of everything else, but uh, is that guy right there. Um, and it's this guy right here. And so what we're going to do, the way we're going to do this is we're going to put it inside a laboratory a latex glove and then just blow it up a bit to see if actually the voltage changes. So I have um, the, the window here planning out, printing out data and so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll show you how this works. So in my case, because my little uh, circuit sticks off the Arduino board, it makes it a little bit more challenging, but that's why the laboratory glove is good because you can stretch it out quite a bit. So if we just stretch this out, put it over the whole Arduino, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because again, you just want to see if the voltage is changing to see if your sensor is working. I didn't know if my sensor was working or not. So now what we do is we blow it up. Right? Blow it up, we hold it temporarily with our hand. So we've just filled up the balloon, and you can see in the second column from the right, it's 907, 6, it's dropping, it shows you that the sensor's working. Um, but anyway, uh, you can see and just test basically if your sensor's working. So that's how I did it, low cost, fast, and, uh, and yeah, if you have any other suggestions, please send them our way. Thanks, bye.